Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the uh, welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Guys, I just heard like some kids or whatever. They have this thing because we have water in our backyard, right? Along one side of certain houses over here where we live. It's like some of the houses are backed up into like this water man-made lake or whatever it is. I don't know what it is. It's not a lake lake because it doesn't have a name. But maybe it's a reservoir. I don't know what it is. But there's no fishing. There's nothing. You can't do anything back there. I mean, there are fish, but it's for like the ducks and stuff that come in. It's not for us to go fishing. So I just have a problem with these big ass kids that look like grown men. They like six and seven feet tall, big, broad, you know, it's scary looking, especially at night, you know, and I just don't want to put it, it's scary, and I'll leave it at that. They should not be walking through people's yards, and I don't, I want to put a fence up, but I don't, because if you, like, I have a fence on the two sides, but if you put a fence going across the back, then you don't get the view of the water anymore, because you can't see it. And I don't want to do that. So what I'm thinking of doing is I can block the front and put a gate up like a to wrap the fence and then get that, you know, get the the fence door put on to where you can't walk through my yard and stuff like like there's there's no reason. There's no reason for it. But I just think it's so rude. All the neighbors tell them, get the hell out my backyard. And I don't want nothing to accidentally happen to these kids from fear of looking like you six, seven, eight feet tall. And we think you're trying to break into somebody's house. You shouldn't do it. Period. Amen. Don't do it. Anyway, guys, we're starting with the realest oracle. Ignore my nails. I cracked. I broke. I... I've been doing some things around this house, guys. Like, when I get into it, I get into it. Like, I, I break stuff down. I fix things. I nail. I hammer. I move. I drag, right? Sometimes it pulls me down. But it's been some days. Anyway, guys, here we are with the Realist Oracle. This could be for you. It is for you, right? It'll be for some. Hopefully, maybe you'll get, like, one card out of here and some guidance. So let's see what's going on, people with the Realist Oracle. You know, every now and then I have to vent. That was my vent for today. Let's get it. What do you need to hear or see? Choose love. Love finder, right? Is it telling you to go onto the apps, the dating apps? Or maybe you are on the dating apps and you're going to find some love. You choose love. I don't know. Put yourself back out there, right? yourself back out there what's going on and then we have momentum on the back of the license plate plate it says manifest guys so have the momentum choose love get that get up and go stop sitting around thinking about your past person or thinking that you're not gonna meet anyone choose love manifest maybe you already met this person online right maybe you've already met them maybe you have for some of you you need to just go with the flow so it looks like some of you have met someone online or maybe you will meet someone online but it's it's gaining momentum guys continue to manifest if this is what you want and then just go with the flow Ooh, and then indulge Ooh, yummy 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 choose love guys go with the flow baby manifest it if you think you met your person online and the energies are telling you to just go ahead and indulge just chill out go with the flow right all right what's this love thing all about yeah maybe you met someone online that's what i'm thinking and if you haven't maybe you will get out get out your phones guys choose an app any app right get online Alright, Holy Spirit, what is going on with this love match and choosing love? Mm. Could be coming out of a connection. You could be coming out of a connection right now. 
But spirit is telling you it's time for you to choose love now. It's time for you to just, you know, get on a day nap. You are the queen of pentacles. So you bout it, bout it. You bout it, bout it. You got it going on. You got a good job. You take care of yourself, right? You're nurturing, you're caring, you're giving. Whatever it is, you got money coming in. And something in your past is ending. You're letting it go. You're going with the flow. You're going to move forward. You're going to choose love. And it may be a new love coming in. It may be a new love coming in. King of Cups in reverse. So, you're definitely not accepting love from someone. You're not accepting their cup anymore. That's for sure. Choose love, guys. Ooh. Victory is in front of you. Um, you could have met somebody who's in the public eye, or maybe you met them on a public site, right? Ten of Cups in reverse. You're definitely ending something. You're ending something, and you could be manifesting. You're manifesting a new love. Injustice was in the past. Something didn't work. Three of Pentacles. There was no teamwork. There was something. Something didn't work. Yeah, whatever you're ending, guys, like you're over it. There's no hope in that connection. Spirit is telling you to start over. This is your page one, page of pentacles. You're definitely starting over after an ending. But I guess now you're about to get on these dating apps. If you're not already, you probably already met someone off the apps, right? You're standing in your own personal power. You're definitely manifesting. You're the magician right now. Ooh. And you're not in hangman anymore. So you're definitely not caught up over this king of cups. Or that could be you choosing not to give love to someone anymore. Um, I think you're just going to go with the flow. And let love find you. Right? Or you finding love. Or y'all going to find each other on this dating app. Holy Spirit. Clarify choose love on this dating app. Choose love. Seven of Pentacles. You're definitely reaping rewards from your hard work. Things that you've been working on prior. Things are coming to life, right, for you. It's a head over heart decision for you as well. So you're definitely choosing to go forward. Um, Spirit, clarify. Going with the flow. Chariots in reverse. So it looks like you're definitely trying to go with the flow. Uh, your ex, maybe not so much. They don't want you to go forward. Or you could also have a cheer, uh, a fear of um, change as well. So you could be up in your head a little bit. It's like you're trying to go with the flow, but you may have a little bit of fear. Probably because of this ending. Let's clarify the Hierophant in reverse. But something's definitely over. Yep. Seven of Swords. You probably found out that your person was doing stuff behind your back. They was leaving you out in the cold. You're tired of being left out in the cold as well. Queen of Pentacles energy. Who are you? Yeah. So you're still up in your head about it. You, you're thinking, should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? You're not quit. You're not being too consistent right now or persistent right now. You're just kind of teetering back and forth. Either that or this is the person that you're walking away from and they don't want you to go. But you're not going to hold yourself back for a pentacle. So your person probably don't want you to go, but it looks like you are. You're not going to allow the past to hold you back any longer. Yeah, you're over it. Four cups in reverse, four pentacles in reverse. You're not going to allow it to hold you back anymore. There's no new beginnings. 
whoever that king of cups is in reverse there's no new beginnings for this person you do not want to do over and i don't know if the person from your past is trying to offer you their cup again or you're being offered a cup from someone else The fact that you're moving on, your person could be frustrated or you're frustrated with them for cheating. Knight of Wands in reverse energy. So they was definitely cheating and you're frustrated with them. Yeah, they were living in their ego, not doing what they were supposed to do, constantly working or saying they're working. Yeah, you got clarity on it. You're definitely ending this Ten of Cups. You're definitely going forward. You're definitely not offering nor taking love from your person, the ex, anymore. Because of the injustice. Page of Cups. You may be getting a new love offer. Or with the injustice, they was offering their love to someone else. And that's why it didn't work. But now you're celebrating. Three of Cups energy. You're definitely celebrating. And everything is fine. You said they may have stabbed me in my back, but everything will be fine. So you're celebrating now. And your person, they're not very hopeful because their secrets have come out. Their secrets are out. They're out on my table. So you stop putting in work as well. You're moving forward, guys. Page of Pentacles. You're moving forward to something that's more balanced, uh, equal give and take. You probably met someone online. And you're still healing. You are healing from what's going on. Either that or the fact that you moved on. Your person is trying to heal. But they started it. Look, don't start now. Won't be now, right? <laughs> yeah, their heart is broken because you're manifesting their heart is broken because you're standing in your power. Well, your heart was broken too. Nine of Pentacles. Now you're single. You're single. And you're not in hangman anymore. I think you found your wish fulfillment. Your Nine of Cups. You probably found your dream come true. Spirit, clarify this Nine of Cups. You done met and found somebody online. That's your new beginning. I told you. Some of you met and found someone online. And look at this. Ten of Pentacles after that. A whole brand new world after that. Lover's card after that. Ace of Cups after that. And guess what? Your person is feeling it. Now they have regrets for doing what they did to you. But you're not caught up. You're not up in your head about it. And you don't have any fear. But I'm thinking you realize you probably chose wrong. Your new person can probably be offering you more joy and stability. They don't want you to go, though. Six of Swords in reverse. They don't want you to go. But you're standing in your strength. You're standing up to them. You're not folding. You're standing in your power. Look at it. Look at it. They cheating ass. Look. King of Wands. Queen of Wands in reverse. They was cheating. You moving on. You're happy, and now they have a fear of change. They have a fear that you've changed up. But you're not going back to that. You're happy now. You're singing. You met somebody online. You did. Queen of Cups energy, and you have the Wheel of Fortune energy as well. You're moving on. You're moving on. And they're watching you move on, too. And they realize that they didn't offer you the love that you deserve. You over it. You over it. Look, they want you back. Ten of Swords in reverse. Coming in as the devil. You're not going to do it. You said no. This is too many burdens. They gave you too many burdens. They missed an opportunity with you. They did. Oh well. You done met somebody online. I say go with it. And if you didn't meet them online. Uh, you met them somewhere. Thanks for watching guys. Please like share and subscribe. Peace.